sanitation is critical and central to public health and to the dignity and well-being of all citizens within the city. There was a feeling out there that there weren't any good experiences of citywide inclusive sanitation in the world, but we were aware of a number of those and we wanted to make them accessible to our project teams within the bank and their government counterparts. And these videos give us some examples from around the world of where that's been done at scale. They show the whole sanitation service chain, different partnerships that are ongoing within the city to deliver these services, that everyone is accessing the service in a sustainable way and finally that they're contributing to a thriving urban economy. We need to make our solutions customer-centric. We need to make sure we are considering the whole sanitation service chain. If it's not considered, we will not have sustainable services. There is the user interface or containment at the household. So that's the person's toilet, for example. The second element is uh, collecting or emptying of the waste from the user interface to the subsequent part of the system. The third element is conveyance of that waste. That may be conveyance through sewers as wastewater, it may be conveyance of the faecal sludge through manual or mechanical means. The fourth element is treatment, so treatment of the wastewater or treatment of the faecal sludge. And the final part of the urban sanitation service chain is its reuse or its adequate disposal. We propose reuse because there are such important elements, both water and nutrients, within the waste streams that should be reused in a green circular economy. So what's different about citywide inclusive sanitation um, when compared to business as usual? It's looking at a mix of both on-site sanitation and sewers, depending on the characteristics of the city in question, but also looking at the financing of urban sanitation, the subsidies, how are they being funded, who are they targeting, the regulation of urban sanitation, are we regulating the private sector? Are we regulating the wastewater treatment plant and the effluent discharge, for example? And the institutions, who's responsible for urban sanitation? Is it only the water utility? Is it the municipality? Are there informal service providers? We need to look at the whole and make sure that they're all being taken into account when we plan and implement improved urban sanitation. So what we hope people will take away from viewing these videos and the associated material that we're working on is that, yes, it is possible. What are the key elements of this? What are the ingredients that they could take to their context and adapt them as necessary, but see that it can be done and embrace that business as unusual, doing things in a different way, will in fact result in urban sanitation services for all.